Find an equation of the line passing through this point, negative 3, 5, and it's perpendicular to this line. In the previous example, we graphed the line and it looked like this. Okay? Now, I want you all to think for a minute. We're going from this point to this point. We're rising 2 and we're running 3. And we're going up to the, to the left, aren't we? So the slope now, since we're going upwards and to the left, the slope's going to be minus. Remember I said we're rising 2 and running 3. Okay? Now, uh, could we predict this slope before we even graph the line? Could we predict the slope? Well, let's go back a couple of steps here. If you use 2 for my numerator and 3 for the denominator, make a fraction with 2 thirds and change that sign, I could, I could tell you the slope before I even graph the line. Okay? Put the 2 on the top. 3 on the bottom and change the sign to a negative. So you see what we're talking about? The sign changes and you have 2 on the top and 3 on the bottom. Negative 2 thirds. Alright, now the perpendicular is going to slant upward to the right. So the perpendicular is going to be plus and if you use the reciprocal of 2 thirds and you use a plus you will have a slope of 3 halves and that is going to be the perpendicular slope. Okay, the slope of the line that's perpendicular to my original line. So let's go grab that point right there, negative 3. Go 1, 2, 3, and go up to 5. This is the point, negative 3, 5. And let me show you what I'm talking about having being perpendicular. We're going to go upward and to the right. We're going to go up 3 and over 2. Up 1, 2, 3, and over 2. And then we'll draw the line. See, so we're going to have another point right here. Okay, as we draw a little straight line, it's got to go through that and that. Okay? So it looks like uh, we're going down 3 and over 2, and down 3 and over 2, because there's your perpendicular line. This is right angles to my original line. Okay? Now, knowing that the slope of this line is a negative 2 thirds, this one, negative 2 thirds, if you knew the slope of this line, which we do is 3 halves, can you show me what the line looks like? Okay. Well, remember that this number goes in front of the x, so the 3 goes in front of the x. The 2 goes in front of the y, the denominator goes in front of the y, and this sign does what? It changes, doesn't it? Okay. So this is the, uh, the equation of every line that's perpendicular to the original, because the only thing I know about this is is that it's perpendicular. Okay? So, it, that could be this line. This has a slope of 3 halves. You see we're going from here, up 3 and over 2. This has a slope of 3 halves. Go up 3 and over 2. Okay? Now, uh, but I want this line because I want it to go through that blue point right there. I don't want these other ones. But all this 3x minus 2y could stand for this line, or this line, or this line because all of these have the same slope and the only thing I know about this is it has a slope of 3 halves. I took a slope of 3 halves, I wrote the equation, or at least part of the equation, and then I drew some parallel lines, everything with the same slope. Okay, now how do you know uh, that we're going to use this line and not the other two? Well, this line goes through what? It goes through that point, doesn't it? Okay. So, if we have 3 times x, you see, you see this is x, 3 times x minus 2 times the y, and I want to guarantee that it goes to this point, what is x right here at this point? Well, x is this, isn't it? x is the minus 3, isn't it? So plug in a minus 3, and plug in the 5, and when we find the number over here, that's going to guarantee that we're using this line, and not these other lines, because these lines do not go through the point negative 3, 5. The only one with a slope of 3 halves that goes through that point is this line. Okay? So let's figure out what this is. This is negative 9, this is negative 10, and you're getting negative 19. So if we want to guarantee that we use this line, okay, this line only, this has to be negative 19. So when you put negative 19 here, we're guaranteeing that the point negative 3, 5 uh, works for this. Okay? Negative 3, 5, that this blue point lies on this line only. 
So the 19 means we only have this line because this is the only one that has the, the negative 3 and the 5, hence the negative 19. Okay, so this part tells you the slope is 3 halves, and this part tells you that it went through that point. Okay, now this is the equation of the line that's perpendicular because that has a slope of 3 halves. It's perpendicular to my original line, this one, okay, and um, it goes to the point negative 3, 5, okay.